Hi guys! Grocery haul time. Because I went shopping. Okay. Make some spice. Okay. Um, I went shopping in two places. I went and shopped at grocery store and a drug store. And I went into the drug store for one thing and left with like a lot. So, I guess we'll start with grocery haul. Got my receipt. Oh, and I went um, fuel shopping. Got some fuel. Which is why I went grocery shopping. I knew I needed fuel. Whoa, look at my hair. It's huge. Anyway. Let's get started. It's all in my control anyway, right? Okay. It's going to be loud because it's all still in bags. Sorry. Okay. I got two bags of potato chips. Um, my mouth still hurts and I can't do corn chips yet. Um, still struggling with losing weight really fast. So, um, anything to kind of get calories in me. Uh, each one of those was four fifty. Let's move on to this bag. Move my teapot out of the way. I got some Q-tips for $3.34. I got some throat coat tea by Traditional Medicinals. Um, I'm still having that sore throat spot in my throat. This was five thirty-nine. I got um, some zinc because my mouth has been hurting, and sometimes zinc helps that. It's between zinc and B vitamins. Not a medical expert, but for me, that's one of my indicators. Um, and with the B vitamins, I get like start getting cracks in the corner of my mouth, or my lips chap, and like no amount of eating more oil or um, drinking more water helps. And that's when I know that it's more of a B vitamin thing. And then when like my tongue hurts, it's B vitamins and zinc. So um, I got these, they were two for one. And that is general merchandise, $4.99 for 200 tablets. I got some more Bob's Red Mill gluten-free old-fashioned rolled oats. They're pretty thick ones. Um, this was ba -ba -ba, $5.59 for 32 ounces. And uh, I got some tea, Tetley tea. 80 bags, um, $2, whoa, that was way less expensive than I thought, I could have bought two of them, <laughs> that explains why the amount that I wrote down on my shopping list didn't match what it was at the end, okay, okay, so I'm in control of my own diet and what I eat, and I have a dairy allergy to casein protein um, for the people who are new to my channel um, casein protein so there's like two main proteins in dairy there's whey protein and casein protein casein protein is the protein that gelatinizes and becomes cheese and whey protein is like the liquids that separate out in the cheese making process it's in the liquids that separate out during the cheese making process anyway. So basically the one thing that I absolutely should not eat is cheese. And I broke down and bought cheese. I got some Munster, some provolone, and some sharp cheddar by Lucerne Dairy. Uh, yeah. 
I feel like I finally ate. I just know that tomorrow I'm going to be a zombie. So um, what it does to me is that it makes me feel foggy headed. I don't know how it does that. I think that um, slow gut, slow brain sort of a deal. And that's that's uh, casein is the slow protein and whey is the fast protein. So the whey molecules are little and they go through your digestive walls and protein out your body versus casein is more of like a, like you ate a jelly ball and it just kind of hangs out and sometimes stops the absorption because it coats things and creates a ball and I don't know. That's why cheese corks people up anyway. So those three were, um, it was three for five dollars, I think is what it was. And it came out to 167, 166, and 167. So I, I don't know, I'm not doing the math, but that's what it says on the receipt. Um, next, I got, some of these Oscar Mayer Angus Bond. Um, these are, this, it looks like it might be kind of in focus. Um, they don't have nitrates or nitrites. And uh, I mean, it's got dextrose in it. It's just Angus beef water cultured dextrose, which is like maybe to sour it up or something. Um, less than 2% of dextrose, so it like, whatever. Salt, cultured celery juice. The celery juice acts like a nitrate as a preservative and a pinking agent, but like without people who are allergic to nitrates will, might react to celery, but people who are sensitive to nitrates might not. But I'm not a doctor, so that's Decide how it works for you. Uh, vinegar, sea salt, cherry powder for the color. And uh, flavor, whatever that is. Extractives of paprika, it's just more flavor. Um, yeah. Oh, the culture dextrose is to help preserve it. Celery juice is to help preserve it, yeah, because it acts like a nitrate. And vinegar is to help preserve it because vinegar creates a hostile environment for many bacteria. That's why people used to make sauerkraut. Um, so this is an Oscar Mayer uh, bun length Angus buns. And then I also got um, Oscar Mayer turkey. These ones are really squishy. Squishy, squishy. And these ones are not squishy. So not as squishy anyway um this is also the no nitrates no preservatives it's basically the same same list mechanically separated turkey watered culture dextrose um this one has corn syrup tapioca starch which helps as a binder um salt dextrose celery juice again vinegar cherry powder flavor it's basically like all stuff that's food. And then I got, um, I've been like really struggling to eat stuff, especially with my tooth being what it is. And I need to eat more than just protein shakes because my tummy gets hungry. Um, so I got more of these. These are the Hormel natural choice, no nitrates. Um, I'm kind of surprised at how much uncured meats there are is really cool. So this would be considered uncured because it doesn't have nitrates and nitrites. I mean, it does have the celery in it again. Um, this one, the ingredients is water, honey, salt, tor torbinat uh, torbinado sugar, cultured celery powder, and cherry powder for the coloring instead of using the nitrate salts. And then I also got this one. So this one is deli turkey, and this one is honey ham. This one's turkey breast meat, water, salt, potato starch, uh, turbinado. <laughs> Am I saying it all wrong? Sugar, 
rice starch, carrageenan, which some people have reactions to carrageenan, so be careful with that. Um, baking soda and celery powder and cherry powder again. So for the pinkish color or something, I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. But anyway, um, that is my Safeway haul, my grocery store haul. Um, total came out to 57.28. Um, so my Q-tips are going to come out of my personal. I need to make change for that. Um, my zinc is going to come out of my medical. So I need to sort that one out as well. And yeah, that's what was going on there. And ba -ba -ba -ba, Walgreens. This is like one of those dangerous stores for me. Very dangerous. Okay, here's my receipt. So it all started with the grandest of intentions. Stay there. And then it quickly broke down for also grand intentions. So I went to get a um, a dental irrigator because I've got this has all stitches and annoying in there. And um, this is the closest thing that I can find. A dose syringe with just a tip on it. So I think that I can put some salt water in there and get a proper flush and get the food chunks out. Um, so this was $7.29. I didn't know how much I would spend going in there trying not to buy things on Amazon because there's like controversy there, but also because like, I don't know. I'm kind of in a weird spot in my head and I know that shopping on there is not the best thing for my brain right now. So I'm trying to like actually have to go and find objects find objects so anyway um that syringe was 729 next thing that i found was some my my aunt just had knee replacement surgery and she absolutely loves dove dark chocolate so i spotted these and i went to buy her one so it was uh Two for seven dollars or three ninety nine each, and I got sucked in to the if you buy more you save money, even though you really had to spend more money. So I got two. So that was the beginning of the end. I also have this problem with like having a dry mouth, and um, so I got these thinking that they would help. They're a little bit okay, but like the texture is not super awesome on my tongue. Um, so the Dove Chocolates was two for seven. The Tiny Conversation Hearts were 179. If I didn't stop there, I also got these kind of fun gobstoppers because they're um more of a sucking candy than the pressed powder like the Brax conversation hearts are and I ended up buying two because it was two for five dollars they're kind of good they're a little bit cherry flavored sort of I don't know um and that wasn't even the end of that so then I was walking out and you know how they've got like all the displays out towards the front and I was like, I wonder if they have SD cards so that I can put an SD card in my phone so that I can record like more video and hide stuff in my SD card instead of having it like turning off my camera all the time. Anyway, so I went up there and... I don't even remember looking at the SD cards, like seriously, because I found, um, I found these. 
my headphones that I use at work have died. Like they, I don't know, some wire came loose and I can't listen to them. They don't work when I try to use them as like a hands-free device for when I talk on the phone. So I got these. It's a Bluetooth thingamajigger. We'll see how it goes. We'll try it. See what happens. Um, that was $19.99. So that's um, a $20 bill out of my allowance. But also... I got um, just some wired ones. These are the ones that you plug in. Seems like everything's Bluetooth these days, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, I guess you guys can kind of see it. The built-in microphone, wired earbuds, that's it. Um, these were $7.49. So I walked in there with the intent to buy this for $7.29. Then I spotted these and did the two for seven and then all the other candy. And then I went to look at SD cards and instead of spending like, I thought it would be less than $10, I ended up spending $48.56. So, um, the money that I had on me was my grocery money. So I took a $50 bill out of there and used that. So I have to pay back my grocery fund. So that'll be in another video when I talk about how I'm gonna pay back my grocery fund. From where? From how? Whatever. Yeah, it'll be cool. So yeah, I do have to pay back my grocery fund um, for the cotton swabs and the zinc pills as well as everything that I bought at Walgreens. So that is what is going on there. All right. Bye guys. Oh, and by the way, I still have um, a $50 bill in my wallet plus two, $2, $3 and like a bunch of coins. So, but the coins go into my coin jar. These will go into my wallet. Anyway, so I will do another video to um, write this stuff down in my book um, to reconcile my receipts and I'll reconcile how much money I owe to my grocery fund. Sounds fun. Right. Bye guys.